Hi there. One of the questions I uh, see a lot in my Facebook group is how do I know what new services to add and maybe when to add them? My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business within a year. They double their income guaranteed. Now, when do you know when you need to add new services? It's very easy. Clients start to ask about it. So when you have clients um, and, and they start to ask, um, for example, uh, one of my clients uh, and also when they complain, start to complain about things. So a lot of my clients complain about the fact that they don't have time to do their social media, to do their blog copywriting, to post everything, to engage. And uh, well, the first solution I came up with, well, hire my assistant, but that is not sustainable because they can't all hire my assistant. And at some point, uh, I'm, my assistant won't be available for me anymore. So then I started to realize, but if we want to help those women continue growing, um, because their business is scaling and they have less time to do those uh, things, why don't we start to write their blogs? Why don't we start to design their social media and all the other stuff? So that's tip number one. When your clients ask about something, or more importantly, when they start complaining about things or about other services that they have. One other reason is to check what your competitors are doing. It's very easy. And there's no reason to be afraid that when they are very good and they offer all the services, that you won't be able to do it. You know, you have your ideal clients. And your ideal clients, they will stick with you. And once you start to offer something, what a competitor does, then that's also very good for you to add to your services. So that's tip number two. Check your competitors. What are they doing? Tip number three is when you get new ideas. So when you get ideas and are in a creative mode or you take time uh, for it or you may even start to interview clients like, hey, what if I would add another service? What would I add? Um, we, uh, with my team, every Monday morning at nine o'clock, we, uh, we have a brainstorm session, uh, no, 10 o'clock. And we sometimes come up with new services because of this. So that's Tip number four, speak to your team because they also know what's going on and they check your competitors. I ask them, they come up with ideas. Um, and the other uh, thing is um, when you, um, get, how you know that you need to add a new service is when your clients are nearly ready. When they're nearly ready with you, when they have finished going through your funnel, through your cycle, that's when you know you need to add a new product. And it's also at that time, and that's tip number five, that's when you can see what they need next. And whatever they need next, that is what they can, what you can then develop. So for example, my clients, what they need next is a VA. So what I do is I find their VAs and I help train their VAs. And at some point they stay with them. But I have been making some money in the meantime. Well, makes sense because, you know, I find them, I screen them, I train them. And the same for social media. One day, once they quit working with me, they still want to stick for um, and, and helping them with their social media or their blog copy or their uh, social media designs. So um, even if they finish with the coaching, they still take on some of the services that we offer. 
So I hope this has been helpful, uh, the five tips on to know what you need to offer extra, extra services for your clients and specifically when you need to offer that. Um, so if you want to have a chat with me, uh, a quick 15 minute chat to find out if I can help you scale your business, where I guarantee you that you will double your business within a year and if not, I'll pay you back your money. To have this conversation, you need to have a B2B service oriented business. Otherwise, I can't help you. I can't make that promise. Uh, schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to talk to you soon. If not, see you at the next video. Bye bye.